everyone, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is Sunday, July 10, 2011, and this is a Zero News update on the Mueller Motor Project. As I stated in an earlier video, um, I have all of my coil sets installed now in the Mueller Motor uh, test device that I've put together. The, uh, the only thing that I've done differently uh, as of late is I created a uh, a notched disc for the opto interrupters that I purchased from Mauser and uh, one of the things that I discovered about these opto interrupters that was somewhat of a disappointment is that uh, they are very linear they're not switching as the uh, as the uh, openings the notches in the disc move through the opto interrupters that and I look at it on the oscilloscope, it doesn't switch on and off like a ha typical Hall effect sensor does. There's no Schmidt triggers inside, there's no comparators inside, it's just an opto interrupter. And uh, if I want to utilize those, I'm going to have to design a little bit more circuitry in front of it, uh, or I should say behind it, between it and the driver circuit for the coils in order to condition the signal to give me the square wave that I'm looking for. So. Um, I was a little disappointed about that and uh, I just want you to know that everything that I've done so far or practically everything that I've done so far in terms of building the motor uh, is published now at altenergy.org I don't know if you can see it on top of this uh, on top of this video frame but anyway it's at uh, www.alt-nrg.org and uh, you'll find the schematic diagram for my driver circuit as it is built right now you'll find the board layout almost complete it's, it's complete enough where you could replicate it if you wanted to uh, some close-up detailed photos of the construction of the project and the parts list of, of the components that I've been using so far so please visit my website uh, you'll find all of the uh, information there just follow the links on the Mueller motor project uh, but going forward I need to be able to do a little bit more with the uh, the pulse duration of the signal being fed to the driver circuit that energizes the coils. Right now I just have Hall Effect devices connected straight in and I really don't have a lot of flexibility with the, uh, the, the timing of the, of the pulse train going to the driver coils. So with that in mind I think I'm going to move ahead and start uh, thinking about using this Arduino controller board that I've got. Uh, this is a uh, leftover from the from the EBN project some time ago, and the Arduino board that I have is a. If I can see if I can say this correctly, uh, Dumilinov, Dumilinovi something like that d-u-e-m-i-l-a-n-o-v-e it's Italian so uh, to all of you Italians if I've really made a mess of this name uh, I apologize but uh, not much I can do about it and uh, I've got the uh, the input shield I have a high current output shield with uh, six MOSFETs they are IRFZ 44N MOSFETs for the output and I have the LCD shield, Arduino LCD shield version 1.1 that go along with the Arduino processor. What I need this thing to do, and uh, I hope I can describe this, I'm going to read it so that I describe it correctly. I need two independent input triggers and two linked outputs. So each trigger should should uh, each input trigger should should actuate its own output. Uh, I need uh, you know one for each input. The sampling rate. What it's going to do is it's going to receive the input from the two Hall effect devices from the from the uh, Mueller motor, and it must respond to the speed of changing speed of the rotor. The the output must vary. The output pulse duration must vary as a fixed percentage of the rotor speed and or input frequency. And in mechanics terms, if you're if you're an auto mechanic from from the old days when we used to use points and distributors, we refer to it as dwell. Now we refer to it as dwell angle, but really it's it's a percentage of the total time 
that uh, the circuit is on versus when the circuit is off. I need the dwell to be variable from half a percent to 50 percent. So I want to be able to go from less than one percent duty cycle to 50 percent duty cycle on the output of the Arduino to feed to the, um, the driver circuit. So let me give you, just, just to give you an example, some, some uh, simple numbers. My input frequency is 100 hertz. That equates to about 800 RPM on the rotor, okay, roughly. Um, so 100 hertz, the time duration for one full cycle is one one hundredth of a second per full cycle or 0 0.01 seconds. If I want a 50% dwell, then my, my, my output pulse is 0 0.005 seconds. So take that, take that 0 0.01 second full cycle duration, cut it in half, and the output becomes half on, half off, 50% dwell. A 10% dwell would be a, uh, a, a pulse duration of 0 0.001 seconds. Uh, and then if the rotor speed were to increase to double, my input frequency would be 200 hertz to the Arduino. That's a time span of one two hundredth of a second for one full cycle, or 0 .005 seconds. And then a 50% dwell of that would be 0 .0025 seconds on 0 .0025 seconds off. Um, 10% percent point zero 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 five seconds and so on. If you know of, uh, now this is an open call to all of you Arduino uh, aficionados and tinkerers and uh, code writers. If you know of a sketch that is already made, a pre-made sketch for the Arduino processor that would do the, what I needed to do in order to uh, move forward with the experiments on this, please tell me where to find it. Drop me an email at zerofossilfuel, all one word, zerofossilfuel at gmail.com. I would love to find, I would love to find uh, a, a pre-made sketch if they're already written. And if you can't find one or the one does not exist and some of you have the expertise necessary to, to write a few lines of code for the Arduino, the learning curve for me is just too great. It, uh, it, there, there are so many of you out there who already are very fluent with this, with this programming language and I'm sure you could probably pull it off for me. So this is an open call. If uh, there's anybody out there who has that expertise and would like to lend a hand and can write that code for me, Again, drop me an email, zerofossilfuel at gmail.com, and uh, give me a hand, and uh, if you like, I'll definitely give you credit for, for the work that you do as well. That's all for now. Um, if you haven't told any, everybody about the project, I hope you will. If you haven't subscribed, I hope you will. Um, having a lot of fun with this project, and I hope you're enjoying this series. Everyone be well. Peace.